All right, well, I got my new case, so I want to get that out of there and build it and everything, and then I'll show you what's all on the case instead of fiddling around trying to get it out of the box. All right, well, I got everything transferred from my old case into my new case here. Uh, in case I didn't mention, which I don't think I did, I got an NZXT 410 Elite because it could hold uh, an H100i. And so far that seems to be working right. Although it feels like this this feels like this fan has pumping out more air than this fan, but I might just be feeling things. Oh yeah, and excuse my phone's purple tint. That's the awesome HTC One's camera for you. This is that's the only part of this phone I don't much care for. Unless it has 100% light, it kind of sucks. But there we go. There's the Corsair H100. I got the little fan over there for my uh, Northridge and MOSFETs. One rear fan there, 120 millimeter. Oh, I also need a new uh, extension cable for the 8 pin. That's why that's there. Once I get an 8 pin, that will not be hanging all over stuff like that. But other than that, I think I did a pretty decent job with cable routing this time. See, I'm just installing StarCraft 2 at the moment. Went ahead and overclocked it a little bit more. Got it up to 4.5 GHz. And I have it at 1.425 volts in the BIOS, and so far it hasn't gone over 1.4 volts. And see, it seems pretty stable too. I haven't had any problems yet. And then for temperatures, it was idling at like 35, 36 when it first started, but once it heated up and I closed the program, so far I haven't seen it go under 40. But it is installing and downloading and all sorts of other stuff, so it's not totally idling. And then the highest it's ever been after like an hour of running... Uh, Valley benchmark was 53, so that's a heck of a lot better before it would get like close to 60 Even when I undervolted it that stock cooler as impressive as it looks. It's just not very good. Oh Yeah, and for reference the temperature in here is 25 C Or 77.2 F Fahrenheit but uh, I still have to overclock more and, and stuff, but uh, I'll definitely be making some more videos. Actually, let's just go look around this case real quick. We've got a storage area here. You got three places to put drives. You get two front fans, which I don't like the style they are. They got these weird like clip things that hold the fan in and it touches it powers the fan on contacts I don't really like that very much but I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and not use them they both work uh, then we got a power light and the hard drive light on the top here we got a reset switch and power switch we got three USB 3 or 2.0 and one 3.0 and then one of the two of these is a microphone and a headphone I honestly don't know which yet because it's unmarked so that'll be fun and then on the side, as you saw, it has a window. On the top, it has the ventilation. And on this side, there's nothing. But that's about it for this video. This was just a quick update showing that I finally completed my whole build the way I wanted it to be. And I think it's going to be pretty good. I'll definitely do some update videos on the overclocking ability of the card and the CPU and whatnot. See what I can get for max overclocks. But till then. Peace out, guys.